welcome to a new vlog. It's kind of like weirdly backlit because I have a window back there, but hello and welcome to my new apartment. As you can see, it is not complete yet. I am missing a headboard right here. So we're gonna start the vlog off heading to Home Depot because I am, fingers crossed, going to make one if everything turns out as planned. I purchased this rattan on Etsy and I have a vision in mind, so hopefully I can make this. Okay, so come with me to Home Depot. Today's outfit of the day is not much. I'm just wearing a tank top and long shorts because it is very hot. So let's go pick up some wood. So I ended up going with two different types of wood for this. I have these thicker boards. This is one by two. Wait, actually, I think it's half by two and it's really lightweight. And I had them cut these down in store, which is why I had to go to the Home Depot in Queens because they won't cut wood in Manhattan. But I had them cut these in store to be 22 and a half inches for these two pieces. And then I had them do two longer pieces for the top and bottom of the head frame. And I chose to go with 68 inches since I'm putting it on a queen size bed. And I want it to be slightly wider than the bed. And then I got these. These are super lightweight. So I'm just gonna wood glue these on. This is just lattice. And I got, again, three pieces at 22 and a half and then two pieces at 68. I got the third, honestly not on purpose. It was because I didn't realize that when you purchase the lattice, you're purchasing it by the length. And so then when he went to cut it, I just had extra and I had already paid for it. So I was like, whatever, I'll just put this on it also. And then the rattan I bought on Etsy, I will link it down below. The Etsy seller that I used, her name, I want to say was like lavender or something. So I'll link it down below. And I thought about keeping this this same light wood tone, but I actually decided that I want to stain it. So I picked up a wood stain. I went with the shade Golden Oak. I also picked up wood glue because I want to glue these top pieces on to finish it off. And then I bought a staple gun and some staples. I will also be drilling nails into the support pieces to kind of hold this together in the end. So I'm going to start off um, sanding and staining these pieces, let them sit for a while, and then start assembling it. Actually head out for a coffee now you guys saw me last night staining all of the wood I am regretting the color that I chose for the wood stain but hopefully it will all come together and then this morning I used some wood glue to start to put it together and then I'm gonna go back in with screws later to reinforce it but I need to let that sit for a while to get some hold so I'm actually gonna run out and get some coffee my very simple outfit of the day is this kind of midi dress it's this like brown gingham print. If I can find the link for this, I'll leave it down below. I bought this at TJ Maxx recently because I was buying a mirror for the living room and I was like $15 away from reaching free shipping or something. So I threw this in my cart. I think it's very cute, very summery. And then I always have to grab a tote, probably throw on some sneakers and then head out the door.
The headboard assembly I figured would be easiest to do as a voiceover, so my roommate helped me by drilling all of the pieces of wood together. We just did one screw per corner, and then you need to get the rattan wet, so I gave it a shower for like 30 minutes. This helps it to be less stiff, so you have an easier time rolling it out without breaking any sections of it. And then I just used my staple gun to staple all the way around the rattan, and what i noticed was that you kind of want to like pull it taut because it was starting to like wrinkle up and maybe not lay super flat and make sure you add plenty of staples like you really can't do too many and then this next step here is very tedious but i was cutting off all the little excess pieces that were going to hang over when i added my trim on top so i was just cutting off all the way around the rattan and then here is where i added the trim so i used a lot of wood glue i started off not using that much as you can see but i ended up going back in with more and i glued all around the four sides and when you lay it down you have a bit of time before the glue dries so you'll see me here in a second trying to like adjust it and make sure everything is sitting even before the glue kind of sets but it takes a really long time to dry i actually put cans on top to add some weight to the corners so they would push them down okay here's the headboard on the bed i ended up hanging it with command hooks which honestly i wouldn't really recommend in terms of like stability but since i am renting it just seemed like an easier option though like i said i wouldn't necessarily recommend opting for a command hook since your headboard is one thing you like really don't want to fall off the wall but it appeared to work pretty well i used a ton like all the way around like more than you would need here are my thoughts after completing this so if you are going to try to replicate this i would say the 68 inch width for it was a little bit wider than i would have liked to do like if i had it to do over again I would have made it more like 64 inches. My initial mind, like like my thought process was that, oh, I'm not wearing any earrings. Okay, that's better. But my thought process in the beginning was that I wanted it to hang over on the sides a little bit. And I did, but I think that what I ended up with hangs over a little bit more than I would have liked. Also, I, if I had this to mount on my wall again, I would have mounted it at least like an inch lower than I did. But at this point, I'm like, I'm not gonna take this off and redo it. So here it is. I think it turned out really cute. I really like the little lip or like the little shelf ledge step, whatever you want to call it, that I ended up making because the two pieces of wood are a different width. Honestly, I think if you had more access to like power tools somewhere to create this, you could do it outside. You had a car to get the wood slash maybe you already had like a staple gun and some of these other products. This could be a pretty easy DIY, but since I was making it in my apartment, I didn't have anything to begin with. I had to go buy it all. I don't have a car, like, but I think for like the average person, if you have a house and somewhere to do it outdoors, you could do it in your garage or something like that. Like it would be an easier thing to do. Also, yes, this is the same dress you saw me wearing earlier in the video. I did find it. It is still available. So I will leave it linked down below. I put this back on today because I'm going to a cooking class after this with pharmacy and I'm going to vlog that for you guys, but I was getting dressed and I'm like, what do I have that feels cooking class-esque? And I first I had on like a black maxi dress or like a midi dress, but then I decided to go with this. I don't know. I thought it was fun. Also, now that I've completed all of my DIY projects, I also did actually, I redid my dresser knobs and I, I filmed a little bit of that to show you guys my the poles on my dresser were originally black and i wanted them to be gold to match the room a little bit better so i bought rub and buff it just made such a big difference i feel like the dresser now ties in with the rest of the room a little bit better but now that i've completed my dresser knobs now that i've completed my headboard i was like okay now i can put some fake nails back on because before i had to have small nails or like short ones because i was doing all these projects so i just finished putting some nails on and I get questions about how I do my press on nails, so I figured I would share with you guys some tips. So I did record that this morning when I was doing them. The biggest tip, like you guys, these last for me for two weeks. And I can take them off at like the one week mark, but trying to take them off before that point, like they're not gonna come off your nails. 
you can force them off at the one week mark but like realistically i don't need to take these off until two weeks can you hear tilly playing with her toy she has this little like bell on a string and she's in the hallway just batting it around but these last for me for so long and here's how first of all the main thing is the glue it does you could follow every tip that there is for press on nails but if you're using bad glue they're just not going to stay and the best that i've found is from Glamnetics. I'll link it down below. It's $7 at Ulta and it's so much better than any other nail glue. Like everything else I use, they fall off same day or one or two days later. This is what makes them last for like two weeks. The next tip is you need to use enough glue. I feel like when I started using press on nails years ago, I would just do like a little dot. I feel like that's what they say in the instructions, but a little dot is not going to hold them on. So I'll put some on my own nail and then I'll put some on the fake nail. And then when you apply it, you want to pinch and hold down for at least 30 seconds so that it can it can have time to dry. Also these I painted, I had just some random nails, like if, when you see the clips you'll see they didn't even match, like the pinky nail was a different pattern, but I just had some random nails just to give me like some length and then I went and painted them. This color is from Persona Paints, it's the nail polish brand from Persona Cosmetics. This is Lilac. Honestly, I don't like their nail polishes, even though I love Persona Cosmetics so much, but their nail polishes normally chip on me within one day. But when you're painting fake nails, they don't chip. So I like using their colors when I'm wearing press-on nails or just painting fake nails. Also, before you even apply the nails, make sure you kind of file them down to fit your nails because they're just not naturally going to be the right size and width. So filing them down will make a big difference. Oh, okay. I wanted to share with you guys what I bought at Target. I was so excited. I just went downstairs to pick up my package and I was going to share it on camera, but I think something in my box shattered. So I love Target, but shame on them. This is how they packaged this. It was two things in glass and this was it. Like the whole box has nothing in it and you can hear like something is broken and I, I can't tell what it is. Okay, I'm so bummed, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't want to, actually don't want to cut myself, but the shattered thing was this vase. I ordered this beautiful vase. I wanted to put on my dresser and put some dried flowers in it. And Target's been having so many good home sales recently. I was pumped about this. I got it on a great deal, but I don't know why they packaged it like this. Like, if anything, it could have gone in a smaller box where it wasn't gonna rattle and it needed more than this, so. I'm so bummed about that. But this was such an impulse. I bought a Lucky Charms candle. Um, also, I bought some other things in my order, but it, it didn't all come in one. So this was like what came today. But I bought this Lucky Charms scented candle. I don't know. It popped up on the website as recommended. And I was like, well, let me try it. Honestly, though, if you guys are wondering about these, it smells pretty bad. So I wouldn't recommend it. It, it, I, it doesn't smell like Lucky Charms. It smells like, you know, sometimes when you get really cheap candles and they just have that like artificial scent very like waxy but like artificially sweet like that's what this is it does not smell like lucky charm guys i'm so bummed that the um vase broke in transport because it was actually really cute and what i've been wanting to do is go get some baby's breath and then hang them upside down to dry so that i can just keep that on my dresser as some just like dried flowers but maybe they'll send me a new one if they still have it in stock i don't know if they will though because Everything has been on sale at Target recently. I think the sale will still be happening when this vlog goes up. But I also bought some um, wall art there recently for a really great discount. So if you've been needing anything for home stuff, check out Target because they've had really good sales lately. Hopefully whatever you buy from them, they will ship to you better than they shipped my package just now. But okay, I am going to get ready to head to that pharmacy event. We're gonna be doing a cooking class. I'm excited. I I will see what the food is though. I did tell them that I'm vegetarian, so I hope it's something I can eat. We'll see, I don't really know, but this class is in Brooklyn, so I'm gonna take the train over there. And honestly, going to influencer events, it's always very fun, but it is always, like I get a little nervous to do them because I'm entering something where I don't know anyone, but it's one of those things, like you meet friends quickly and by the end of that, it's usually pretty fun. So I'm gonna head to that and I'm gonna take you guys along with me.
more things that I need to unpack into my makeup drawers and get that put away. So let's continue unpacking. Organization wise, this lipstick drawer is definitely not where I want it, but I was running out of um, bins to separate it, so I have to get some more, but I'm excited at least to have it all unpacked, even if it is not really that organized. Though I did try to separate like glosses, colorful liquid lipsticks, like sheer lip products mostly. It is a little bit separated, but this will have to work for now though it is definitely not complete but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video